Let's talk about regular expressions or regex on Google Looker Studio. And I know what you're thinking. This is so hard and boring. This is for engineers, but no, it is super simple. And you will look very smart in front of your team or clients. And remember, you can always, still like an artist, you can only copy and paste the formulas that I will give to you. You only need to change some values and you are done. So to think about regex, because you need to understand how it works is as formulas are for operating numbers to come up with metrics, you use regular expressions to operate dimensions and text. If you want to come up with new dimensions, you use regular expressions. If you want to come up with new metrics, you use formulas or mathematical formulas. Voila. Regular expressions then are like mathematical formulas, but for operating text in computers. That's everything that you need to understand. An example is, hey, I want to find in my database all the emails that contain Gmail. That's a kind of example or regular expression of, or one of the use cases that you can come up with. Now, if regular expressions were written in natural language, it would work something like this. The rule is this, if country, if my dimension country, the value is Colombia or Argentina, please tag those values as LATAM, Latin America. If not, keep it the same. So this is an example of a table where I have my column country, that is Colombia, Argentina, India, and US, and my new dimension that I created with regular expressions uh, say, okay, if Colombia, then tag it as LATAM, Argentina, tag it as LATAM, India, keep it the same, and US, keep it the same. Now my new dimension shows my data clean, but this is not for marketing. Let's talk about marketing use cases. So clean your acquisition reports. If you go to Google Analytics, you will see that sometimes the sources are not clean. And this is an example. If on your table, some of your traffic comes from Facebook, FB, Facebook with capital, mobile at Facebook, then group it as Facebook because in the end, all they all mean the same. Now, this is how the table looks like. So I have some conversions from mobile.facebook.com, some from Facebook and some from FB and six from Google, but actually, Facebook is being more representative, but the data is not clean. So if I tag them as Facebook, all these values, then I will notice that Facebook in general actually has 19 conversions versus Google that has six. That's a use case for regular expressions on Google Looker Studio. Another one is breaking down your data or your SEO reports by branded or versus non-branded sources. For instance, if the query that people use, and this is an example with Google Search Console data, if query contains Potter, then tag it as branded. If not, tag it as non-branded. And another example for grouping the data in our website is this. If our website page contains the URL templates, then tag it as template. If the page contains tutorials, then tag it as tutorials. If the page contains connectors, then tag it as connector. This way, at Potter, we group our content and we can see what topic or what content categories are performing the best in terms of generating traffic to our website. And this is actual data. If you run social media, Many times you run your social media based on topics. So you can break down your data by topic. So you take the post message or the post caption, and if the post caption contains the hashtag tutorial, then tag it as tutorial. If it contains templates, then tag it as templates. If not quotes, then tag it as quotes. And this way I can group my social media content and I can see what topics are working the best. So in general, you can see that regular expressions let me tag group and clean my data. And we'll have a specific exercise for all of these use cases. Another example for that is grouping my ads by campaign type or product. I have seen many reports of our clients and they have a specific name or convention or taxonomy for their campaign names. Their Google Ads or Facebook Ads campaign names are something like this. Shoes, Awareness, 2023, uh, Colombia. So I can see that they have categories or they have specific groups and segments for their Facebook ads campaigns, but it is not easy to break down this data so they can analyze that with regular expressions I can, I can do it. For instance, I can say, if my campaign, if my Google ads campaign contains the words awareness, then tag it as awareness. If it contains the word consideration, then tag it as consideration. And this way I could come up with a table that doesn't break down my data by campaign, but by funnel stage. So with these examples, this is the welcome or the introduction uh, for regular expressions on Google Looker Studio for marketing. See you in the next lessons.